Welcome to Ask a Dentist, where we answer any dental or teeth-related questions you may have. We've been receiving several questions about proper ways of flossing, so I'm going to show you how to correctly floss your teeth today. First thing you want to do is take about an arm's length of floss, and we're going to wrap the ends of the floss around our middle fingers, just like so, so that way we have our index fingers and thumbs to control the floss around our teeth. Remember, the goal of flossing is to remove the plaque that's on the side of the tooth where the toothbrush cannot reach. To do that, we pass the floss very gently through the contact area of the two teeth and we wrap the floss in a C-shape alongside the tooth and we go up and down five or six times in a gentle motion. With each motion, we make sure that you're reaching to the depth of the pocket between the gum tissue and the tooth. And now that we have done one side, we're going to wrap the floss alongside the other tooth and we'll do the same thing. We go up and down five or six times. And then you can either pass the floss through the side of the tooth or just pull it out of the contact area very gently. We also floss the front teeth the same way. We pass the floss through gently. You go up and down five or six times the depth of the pocket and same thing on the adjacent tooth. Generally, we recommend our patients floss once at night before going to sleep. Here is a question for you. Do you brush first and then floss your teeth or vice versa? Is there a difference? Make sure to comment your preference below.